Hello, we are the Association for Child and Adolescent Mental Health, or ACAM for short. It is Children's Mental Health Week. This week represents an opportunity to draw attention to the difficulties faced by children, young people and their families, their teachers and carers, who all find themselves in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. I must not forget the many practitioners who are also finding this a very challenging time. I'm Gordana Milovic, the chair of the Association of Child and Adolescent Mental Health. Allow me to say a few words about the association. We are an educational mental health charity. For more than 60 years, the association has successfully consolidated its reputation for achieving a balance between academic scientific research and evidence-based clinical practice. It has achieved this by drawing together individuals from a wide range of professional backgrounds. Now, I'm reminded that these are the same principles which had inspired Emmanuel Miller to form the association all those years ago. So how do we do this? We disseminate the latest research through our three main journals, the Journal of Child Psychology and Psychiatry, widely recognized to be the leading international journal, Child and Adolescent Mental Health, a journal focusing on high quality peer reviewed child and adolescent mental health services research, and our latest edition, JCPP Advances, our brand new gold open access journal. Then we have The Bridge with its research digests, our newsletters, numerous occasional publications, blogs, podcasts and recorded lectures, which all add to that vast body of knowledge which we are happy to share. We are always looking for new ways to make research and information more accessible. So let me tell you about one of our most recent initiatives. We've recently launched our new CAMS Around the Campfire series, a free live online journal club. The club is run in conjunction with Andre Tomlin of the Mental Elf and the National Elf Service. Each one hour meeting features a new piece of research. The research is discussed with a focus on critical appraisal and implications for practice. Although it is primarily targeted at CAMS practitioners and researchers, everybody is welcome. Do sign up to our free newsletter via the website to make sure you don't miss the next meeting. We are also extending our learning communities through our branches in the UK and through a number of international hubs. We already have established branches in Malta, Egypt and India. I would urge our international members to keep in touch and to join our many activities. In addition to our journals, our national conferences and masterclasses bring us nearer to our audiences and allow for further sharing of scientific and evidence-based knowledge. When we were considering what to base our traditional annual Emmanuel Miller conference this year, we surveyed our membership. The most popular theme, not surprisingly, was that of COVID-19 pandemic and its effects on children's mental health. Our academic secretary and ACAM board member, Professor Samuel Cortese, Professor of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry at the University of Southampton, 
has put together an amazing program for our conference, which is taking place on the 18th and 19th of March this year. And you're all invited to attend. So please sign up and come and join us. The title of our conference is Child and Adolescent Mental Health. What have we learned during the COVID-19 pandemic? Looking back, looking forward. We have a superb lineup of UK national and international speakers. And the link to the programme is set out below. We shall continue as an association to develop our learning communities by engaging our members, our branches, partner agencies, parents and young people and professionals. We are leaders in the field of research of child and adolescent mental health and we shall continue to develop a better understanding of why children experience difficulties and what promotes their well-being. So thank you for your attention and I hope we shall see you at our forthcoming conferences and events. To be part of the advancement of child and adolescent mental health, visit www.acamh.org.